This is how Canelo Alvarez completely demolished Amir Khan in seconds. With only 30 seconds left in round six, Alvarez fainted with a jab that rattled Amir Khan. Then, Canelo threw a lightning-fast overhand right that caught Amir Khan off guard, resulting in Canelo winning via knockout. Did Devin Haney rob Lomachenko? Haney tries to feint but doesn't fully commit to it, so Lomachenko keeps his guard up. Haney commits to a feint again, and Lomachenko puts up a high guard, exposing his left side. Haney throws a big right hook to Lomachenko's body. This happened a lot of times, which led to many fans saying, this could be the reason why Devin Haney won. So the question is, was Lomachenko robbed? Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This is how Manny Pacquiao knocked out Ricky Hatton. Manny Pacquiao throws a feint with his right jab. Hatton sees this and reacts. Manny instantly knows that Hatton took the bait and throws a quick left overhead punch that knocks Hatton out cold. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This is how Tyson Fury managed to dodge and block five punches in a row. Tyson Fury threw a jab while stepping back, baiting Schwartz, causing him to move forward. Fury then threw a punch that caught Schwartz off guard. Schwartz threw a jab, and Fury leaned back to dodge it, repeating the step back process. Again, Tyson Fury threw a right uppercut that completely caught Schwartz off guard. Schwartz then threw a solid left hook, which Fury managed to dodge by leaning back. Tyson Fury found himself in the corner with a Philly shell stance, blocking the right hook with his right arm, using his elbow to dodge the incoming left hook, and then proceeded to duck and slip out of the corner, completely dodging five punches in a row. This is how Deontay Wilder set up Tyson. Tyson Fury likes to drop his lead hand, defend the jab, and slip the right hand whenever he throws it. He did this multiple times, so Wilder took advantage of this. Wilder throws a jab to trigger the parry, and once he slips, Wilder throws the right hand down to catch him, then a left hook that drops him. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and share it with a friend. Let us know what you want to see next in the comments below. This is how Jake Paul demolished August. Jake Paul throws a double jab to measure distance and check August's reaction. August ducks and slips. Jake Paul throws a jab and August ducks and slips again. Jake Paul throws a jab that hits August and a right hook that misses him. This time Jake Paul throws a single jab and an uppercut, catching August off guard and causing Jake Paul to win via knockout. This is how Marquez knocked out an eight-weight world champion. Oh, it done the Pacquiao was pressuring Marquez in this fight. He was winning the beginning rounds, but Pacquiao got overconfident and started using one of his combos over and over. He would feint, then throw a jab and a cross. This was working, but Marquez was looking to counterpunch, and he saw this as the perfect opportunity. Pacquiao fainted, then threw the jab. Marquez stepped outside and slipped the jab and landed the perfect right hand to knock out Pacquiao. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments who you want to see next. This is what makes Ben Whitaker a great striker. Ben steps in with a jab, baiting a counter from his opponent. When his opponent responds with a jab, Ben leans back into the left and starts to come in with a right hand, but his opponent also throws a right hand. So what does Ben do? He takes his head off the center line while coming in evading the cross and landing his own. Then he follows up with a left hook that ends the fight. Follow us for more boxing breakdowns and receive five years of good luck.